Blue Bloods fans probably feel like part of the Reagan family after a decade, but there's a massive difference between us and this cast. We don't leave. Sure, this show has held on to a handful of original characters, but it's definitely seen its fair share of cast shakeups. From epic behind-the-scenes scandals and sneaky recasting decisions, we're dishing the deets on why they left. And that's not all. We've also discovered the truth behind the rumors that Tom Selleck is leaving. Jennifer Esposito as Detective Jackie Curatola Did you know that Blue Bloods made it all the way to season 3 before they said farewell to their first cast member? Even though she wasn't a series regular during her tenure on the show, it was hella tough to say goodbye to Jackie. In fact, fans really didn't appreciate Jennifer's exit, even though her character got a somewhat happy ending in the form of early retirement. And then, the drama really started. CBS explained that Jennifer's absence from Blue Bloods was due to the actress's schedule. Their press release read, Jennifer has informed us that she is only available to work on a very limited part-time schedule. As a result, she's unable to perform the demands of her role. But Miss Esposito disagreed. On her Twitter account, the actress revealed that CBS's story was not true. Jennifer admitted that she'd been let go amid health issues after a period of unpaid leave, and that she was bullied into making the decision. In case you're wondering, Jennifer Esposito has celiac disease, a severe allergy to gluten. The incident in her tweet occurred during the show's third season, when the actress collapsed on set. She was instructed to take time off by her doctor. However, the actress later admitted that CBS didn't think she was really ill, so that time off was unpaid. But that's not all. Jennifer revealed a little more over subsequent tweets. She accused the network of blocking her from working on other shows, adding, No, that article is not telling you the truth. Absolutely shameful behavior. Need to rest now. The whole situation breaks my heart. You won't believe this, but it gets worse. When Jennifer was replaced by actress Megan Boone, it added another level of intrigue, because the actress called her replacement whitewashing. In another tweet, which she since deleted, the actress blamed CBS of wanting an all-white cast. She said, CBS got rid of the only minority cast member so they can have an all-white cast like CSI. Thankfully, actors like David Ramsey prove her claim isn't true. Despite this, fans are still kind of salty about Detective Jackie's exit, and occasionally still demand that Jennifer returns to the cast. But we have news for you. That's never gonna happen, because there's too much bad blood between these blue bloods. At least that wasn't an issue with this next cast member. Nick Turturro as Sergeant Anthony Renzulli After the drama of Jennifer's exit, the creatives behind Blue Bloods lured us into a false sense of comfort. For another three seasons, we didn't have to say goodbye to anyone. But in season six, that all changed. Because Anthony disappeared without an explanation, and the actor behind the role didn't explain why he left. We weren't the only ones upset by the news. The sergeant wasn't killed, after all. And since he left, fans have wondered if he'll make a return. Especially since it's so obvious that Nick loved being part of the show. At one point, he even asked fans to help him get more screen time as Sergeant Renzulli, complete with an idea for a spin-off. So then, why did he leave? That's tough to answer. The actor still hasn't given a definite reason. Then again, since he's appeared in so many different projects since leaving the Reagans behind, it's obvious that he left the show to try something different. After all, he'd already been on Blue Bloods for six years, and it wasn't even the first time he played a cop. He'd already played a detective in NYPD Blues and was looking to branch out into different genres. And he did. Since saying goodbye to the precinct, Nick has been in several different television shows and movies, and has been involved in three movies that are currently in post-production. Plus, he's since become a director and producer, too. So while his fans are hoping he'll return to Blue Blood sometime, that doesn't seem likely to happen. He's just too busy. Although, if we're honest, that's a problem for most of the cast members. Just ask the mayor. David Ramsey as Mayor Carter Poole While we were trying to recover from Renzulli's disappearance, Blue Bloods broke our hearts again. This time, we didn't have to wait three years! David Ramsey bowed out the very next season. Although, when you consider that the assassination attempt on his character in the third season could have been the end of Mayor Poole, we're lucky we got to see him again. But just because his character had a prior brush with death that got fans nervous, doesn't mean we were ready to see him walk off into the sunset in 2017. Even though he had a really great reason for going. That reason was the CW's Arrow, because David scored the role of a bodyguard called John Diggle. But there was a problem. Not only was the actor tied to Blue Bloods, which filmed in New York, 
But if he wanted to join the Arrowverse, it would mean a move to Vancouver, where the CW films its hit show. Initially, he did both and became a frequent traveler, although, as he admitted in an interview, it got tougher every year. It's not easy traveling coast to coast, and now I have a five-year-old child. I love the writing on Blue Bloods, and I wanted to be in New York, but there was no place for me to be a regular at the time. There was another very important reason. This actor was keen to try some new challenges, including working behind the camera as a director, and Arrow offered him a chance to do just that. So he said goodbye to New York and to his Blue Bloods co-stars. Now that Arrow is over and Blue Bloods is still going strong, the show's fans are hoping the mayor might return. We have bad news. That is probably not going to happen. While Arrow is over, John Diggle is still a permanent feature in the DC Universe, appearing in crossovers with shows like Batwoman. However, the real reason we don't think David will be hanging out with the Reagans again anytime soon is because of what he has lined up for the future. According to Deadline, this guy is going to be directing five episodes from different shows, including Supergirl and Superman and Lois. So while we had to bid farewell to Carter Poole, things have been going pretty well for David Ramsey, so we're not too upset. But the same can't be said for this next cast member, whose exit still has viewers upset. Amy Carlson as Linda Reagan even though she was there from the start, it took five seasons for Amy Carlson to be promoted to series regular, and she only kept that title for a couple seasons, before her character was killed at the end of season seven. It was sudden, unexpected, and final. As the first and only character to be killed off from the show, there is no way Linda Reagan will ever make a reappearance, unless there's a zombie apocalypse. To make matters even more depressing, Amy disliked that her character's death wasn't even shown because she thought it robbed the audience of closure. She wasn't alone. Her on-screen hubby, played by Donnie Wahlberg, admitted that his final scene with Amy was devastating and that grief fueled his performance after Linda's accident. I just thought about my friend Amy Carlson. Any tears I shed in that scene was really Donnie shedding them for Amy. Trust me, Danny Reagan is still upset and Donnie Wahlberg misses her tremendously. So why did this actress have such a heavy send-off? You might be surprised to hear this, but it was actually Amy's choice. The actress admitted to Deadline that she felt the time was right for the next step in her career. She wanted to try something new. The timing was also perfect because her contract ended at the end of the seventh season, and she chose not to renew it. Instead, the actress shared a heartfelt message to fans, thanking them for their support. Since then, she's been really busy. Amy has appeared in a few different series and even broke out into film. But even though Amy's send-off was the most brutal, at least it was definite, unlike this next actor. Sammy Gale as Nikki Reagan After a decade of playing Nikki, Sammy seriously shocked fans when she announced she'd be leaving Blue Bloods two years ago. But when the Blue Bloods Twitter account shared a teaser image for season 11, that shock became confusion because she was pictured along with the rest of the cast. But fans freaking out and doing happy dances didn't do anything, because Sammy only appeared in one episode in the entire 11th season. So where the heck has she been? We're glad you asked. It turns out that for this actress, life is imitating art. Just as Nikki went off to university, so did the actress behind the part. That's right, Sammy needed to get her education, and it happened at the same time her character did it. While Nikki went to San Francisco, Sammy attended Columbia University. This means two things. Firstly, that her exit isn't permanent, and secondly, that we'll see very little of Nikki while Sammy finishes her degree. But don't be mad. We're lucky we got to see Sammy play Nikki at all. Way back in 2010, when Blue Bloods premiered, someone else played the role, an actress called Marlene Lawson. And we have no idea why she disappeared after the pilot. Blue Bloods casting director Ross Meyerson said, Sometimes when roles are recast, it's not due to the actor, it's the story. So have a little faith in the story, guys. If it could bring us Sammy in the first place, maybe it'll bring her back for more than one episode in the next season. Speaking of the next season, we really need to address a horrible rumor. A little birdie told us that Tom Selleck is leaving Blue Bloods. Tom Selleck as Frank Regan Blue Bloods has an epic ensemble cast, but we need to be honest. Without Frank Regan, there is no Regan family. And without the family, could there be a show? That's the question fans everywhere have been asking since a rumor started circulating that the man who played the family's patriarch was considering leaving Hollywood altogether. We're delighted to let you know that this news is just that. A rumor! 
Tom Selleck is not leaving Blue Bloods, and we have proof. Tom cleared up the confusion in an interview with People magazine late last year. When asked about his character's future, the actor admitted, I don't think there is an endpoint. There is a lot of life in the show, as long as you let your characters grow and get older. What we have is truly a blessing. The gossip didn't stop. There were tabloid pieces accusing the actor of being unhappy on the show and of gaining weight and being unhealthy. It got so bad that his spokesperson released an official statement to the contrary. It said, Please watch the show and you will see how great he looks. Tom is not retiring. End of story. There's more! Not only is he appearing in the show's 12th season, but he's been listed as an executive producer, too. You see, he's not leaving. He's even more committed than ever. So next time you see something like this, ignore it. Now we just need to wait for the new season to see what happens next. For more info on the cast of Blue Bloods, check out our other videos about the show. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, stay awesome!